Hi, everybody. This is Karen from Broad Minded Books. And come here. I have something to tell you. My book buying band is over. Yay! I am so excited to go to the bookstore again. Actually, I went and I bought... Twenty-one books. Twenty-one books. I guess my book buying band was a success because I did read about 50 books off my shelf. So now I have all these books to put in those spots. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you the books today. And this is no way bragging or boasting that I have all this money. It's just things I want to share with people. And let's get right into it. Most of these books, um, well, some of them are sequels to books I've already read. Some of them are sequels to books I own and haven't read. And then I went to Ollie's and I spent a little money there because their books are so cheap. But I've got a couple of sequels there. And last one, um, I have 22 books show to show you because my friend Ashley, Gamer Doll 21, had a giveaway and I won. I won. I, I can't believe I won. So let's get right into it. Um, the first book I have is Dearly Departed, and I love this cover. It is the sequel to, let's see, Dearly Departed, Dearly Beloved, which is a zombie novel. I loved it, so I was waiting and waiting and waiting for this, and I finally got it. So I'll be tearing into this really soon. Next, I saw this on Epic Reads. I don't know where I got all these books from, but I'm just going to show you them. Um, no One Else Can Have You. I like murder mysteries, so I figured this by Kathleen Hale. I figured this would be nice. It um, A nice change to have a young adult mystery. Then I got... Darkness, Strange, and Lovely, because I have the first one. I have not read it yet. And there, oh, no. thought there was something in it. And I'm going to get this when I get the... I'm going to read these when I get the third installment. I think it's only a trilogy. And then I got The Dream Thieves by Maggie Steve... Yeah, Maggie Steve Otter. Um, it's me peeking under it. I have The Raven Boys, have not read it yet, but I'm going to read both of them soon, hopefully, after I get through the other 300 and something books I have. <laughs> I read the first one, Miss Peregrine's, and of course, when Hollow City came out, this is the first book I bought. I love Mrs. Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I thought this was going to be a wonderful sequel. I will be reading that soon also. I want so wicked because I own a need, a beauty. Mm, forgive me. I forget the names of the, all the, um, what is it? This is going to be a long video. Um, I forget the first one, but I want so wicked. A Beauty So Needed, uh, something like that. I'm sorry. I wish they'd tell you. <laughs> uh, but this is by Suzanne Young. I think I have one more of this, and I'll have the whole series, so then I'll read them. I got this because um, I did read Unwound, and I wanted to read Unholy. Because I love Neil Schusterman's writing of Unwound. I thought it was an, a wonderful book. Next, I bought this because of you people. You people in BookTube pressured me so much that I had to buy it because everyone's raving about it. And it is, should come as no surprise to be Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. It does sound like an intriguing book, and it sounds like a really interesting book. And since I'm into contemporary, I figured I'd pick it up. I bought Andrew Fuchs. Fukudu or Fukudara, I don't know how to say it, The Prey. The first one is The Hunt, and thank God it has it right here because I don't remember them. But I have the old cover of The Hunt, and I wanted to get this one. 
Um, I got this at Barnes and Noble because I saw it and I thought beautiful cover, and it is Nameless. Um, A Tale of Beauty and Madness by Lily St. Crow. I don't know what it's about. Then I saw this, another beautiful cover, and Such Sweet Sorrow by Jenny Trout. That's me underneath trying to see the title. Then I got this because I saw I saw it, and I don't like to read the backs of books. I thought it was a beautiful picture. Um, it is a new trilogy, and it is Scintillate by Terry Clark. Tracy Clark, sorry, Tracy Clark. Then I got these books at Ollie's. These are the books I know I got at Ollie's because I just got them. Pearson um, by DC Pearson. It's called Cat Crap Kingdom. I thought it was a funny book and I could read it with my, with my stepson. And all these books I bought at Book Outlet were a doll ninety nine. Could not even if I don't like it, I couldn't pass that up. Then I got number two in The Shades of London. I read the first one, which was Name of the Star, and I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it, so I wanted to wait until I found this a little cheaper, and when I found it at Ollie's, I couldn't believe it and picked it right up. It is The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. This one I also got at Ollie's. I also got the first one at Ollie's. The cover changed. But the first one was Gilt, I believe, and this is um, Tarnish by Catherine Longshore. Uh, this book, I haven't seen reviews. I remember when it came out, there was a lot of hype, but then people said it wasn't the best book they've ever read. They were disappointed with it. And I know um, the hype books can be kind of disappointing to people, but when you really don't buy into the hype. I figured I'd still enjoy the story and its origin. Like I said, $1.99, even if I hate it, I'm not going to give that up. <laughs> okay. Angel Eyes by Shannon Ditmore, Ditmore, not sure. Love the cover. It was the first book. I said, I'll try it. And then I found, that's the book I won. I'll show that at the end. I found these two books, and they were part of a series, so I just picked them up. Um, that keeps falling from my lap. Let's put that there. And it was Virals by Catherine Reach. I think that's how her name's pronounced. And then I found the second one, Seizures. For four dollars, I, you can't go wrong for four dollars. I don't care. I don't care if you hate the book and throw it across the room. I don't think you can go wrong for that, as long as you read it. I got Spooky Girl, Paranormal Investigation. By Jill B. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> That's the author right down here. I am not going to attempt it. Believe me, if you knew my last name, you'd understand why. And I found this one. They had the hardcover for two ninety nine and the soft cover for two ninety nine. I'm liking hardcovers more, and I couldn't pass up a nice purple cover, so I got it in hardcover. And this was is um, three quarters dead by Richard Peck. I saw this in someone else's bookshelf, and I thought it was a cute title, so that's how I buy books, titles. I think this is the longest video I've ever done. And then I won one. Ashley at Gamer Girl 21 had a contest, and I was one of the people picked to win, and I got this because I, I wanted to read it. It looks like a really interesting book, and thank you, Ashley.
I loved it. It was wrapped. I do have the unwrapping videotape, but the lighting was so bad you can't see anything. She sent me a little note with it on a Hello Kitty stationery, which I thought was so cute. Hello Kitty. And it is Dustland. Blood Red Ro Road. By Mo Moya Kelly. Maury Young. Kelly's an actress. And that's it. Those are all the books I have to show you. Now I have to put them on my bookcase. I'll see you later. Bye.